Hi everyone, welcome back again to Food Part. Um, today we will have a special guest. He is uh, one of my best uh, classmates that I ever have. <laughs> Okay, hello, Ellen. Oh, yeah, by then his name is Ellen Dunn. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. <laughs> Hi, Yena. Ellen, thank you for taking uh, this opportunity to share with our audience here. Usually, I will call the audience is our friends, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, currently, I'm holding... Uh... Not multiple roles, uh, basically just uh, two roles. Okay, one would be uh, my main role would be actually my own uh, fashion label, Narcissism, whereby I do uh, from ready to wear to uh, bespoke pieces. Uh, I'm the creative director as well as um, the salesperson, as, the, as well as uh, dot, 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 uh, all the things all wrapped together. The, the accountant, the, the <laughs> Oh my uh, god. The consultant, yeah, everything. Yeah, because it's your own business, so uh, everything you have to uh, do. Yeah. Yeah. Then beside that, I'm also uh, teaching uh, freelance at uh, TFTC, which is a training and fashion uh, training center, whereby we train um, adults uh, in uh, regards to their skills itself, so where they can get their skills upgraded, so they can uh, change from um, their cost of... Uh, original uh, career to another path of which is like doing fashion. Yeah. Uh, basically how I started is uh, really more by a chance. When I was in the army, I uh, trained uh, recruits, all these things. Mm. At that period of time, uh, it's training really big groups of uh, people and a uh, mm. big group of uh, guys as well. So that one is uh, pretty much of a base for me. Then uh, mm -hmm. follow that, after that, when I went into the uh, working industry uh, uh, mm -hmm. in a local merchandising office. So uh, at that time, my manager, she says uh, she usually prefer not to teach the interns. So... She will put it straight to me, so I usually will teach the interns. Then the interns uh, would uh, ask me, hey, uh, Ellen, why, why aren't you uh, like, uh, teaching? Or, you know, first you are actually quite good at it. I say, uh, never thought of it. Because at that time, uh, uh, in order to teach in schools, uh, most of the schools, right, usually you will need a degree, which at mm. that time, I do not have one. And mm -hmm. uh, finding a suitable degree is uh, a bit difficult for me because uh, I want to do something that's related and not totally mm -hmm. unrelated just for that uh, cert itself, which is, um, to me, uh, a bit redundant. Oh, my mm. girlfriend, uh, she asked me to join uh, KFTC uh, mm -hmm. because um, they are always in need of uh, trainers. So that's the oh. reason why I uh, went in. Initially, they mm -hmm. didn't uh, actually uh, sort of um, accept me. The mm -hmm. reason why is because um, uh, my background is more on couture and not more on uh, ready to wear. So that's the oh. reason why uh, they were a bit hesitant. So, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they still let me try a lot. So. To me, um, this... Uh, 18 years, uh, I was very grateful for the mm. opportunity, uh, even though I do not have the um, super relevant uh, background. I'm also uh, grateful whereby um, colleagues as well as uh, my managers and bosses uh, transferring the skills to me. I learned a lot from them, uh, not in terms of just uh, uh, the fashion industry itself, but also a lot of like uh, other uh, admin as well as mm. uh, you know how to handle situations. These mm. are things where I, I have. I have a one to one talk with uh, all these uh, young uh, so called um, mm. working adults uh, whereby they want to come into the fashion line, but they do not know how to. Yes. So um. I actually advise them is that if you want to uh, really come into uh, this line, uh, you must be prepared for it because uh, it's not uh, easy 
uh, journey itself. But of course, uh, mm. this, um, uh, the school itself has provided so much uh, opportunities as well as uh, so much uh, link and as well mm. as uh, so-called network. Mm. So the next thing would be on your own hard work already. So I share with them is uh, whereby uh, you can go to certain schools whereby you can take up on all these uh, fashion-related uh, mm. things. And okay. in terms of uh, teaching-wise, would be more of uh, understanding your role and mm-hmm. uh, providing, uh, I wouldn't say extra assistance, I would say uh, the hit force uh, you must identify first so that uh, it's easier when the students uh, met with a problem, then it bounce to you. So you are readily uh, uh, able to solve that uh, the problem then, then yeah. Mm, mm, okay. Uh, I do share with them that uh, you must have a really very keen sense of um, what the fashion industry is actually going on, especially during this period of time, whereby mm-hmm. also uh, I help a few of my uh, fellow uh, industry people uh, mm. uh, to move on to another platform whereby um. Uh, they can sell their things. Yeah. So, uh, oh, my this friend, she was very great. Online. Yeah, online. So, first I put her into uh, another platform whereby she can, uh, uh, from uh, accessories making into um, uh, mask making. So, hers would be more on the aesthetic type. If they want to build up a label, uh, they must have a unique point of... Uh, Design or mm-hmm. selling mm, mm-hmm. because uh, if you do not have a unique point, uh, why people would want to buy your brand or why people want to uh, you know, uh, patronize you? You see, mm-hmm. so that's the reason why uh, to me uh, like my lab- label itself, narcissism is all about being a narcissist. Yeah, um, uh, if you don't love yourself, how are you going to love somebody else? Because uh, how you portray yourself is uh, where uh, your, co- your, your customers will have the confidence uh, or the students will have a confidence uh, mm. in learning from you or you know, getting yeah. their things from you. Yeah, this is what mm. I feel that is very important. Mm. For me, all along, uh, my goal has been uh, targeted. Yes, I want to be the designer. Yes. The yeah, designer. Yes, uh, yeah, so that's that's how I move along. So uh. after my studies at uh, Master Poly, uh, at mm-hmm. fashion design, then I move on to army. Then after that, I mm-hmm. came up and uh, I got intro by my friend to this uh, bridal boutique. Then mm-hmm. I started working there for eight years. Mm-hmm. Then after that, then I still doing fashion, keep doing fashion. So that's why uh, mm-hmm. some of my girlfriends already moved on to uh, other uh, things. Industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, it, it can get really very tiring, especially in fashion because you have to be so constantly on uh, the ball as well as uh, you know, uh, in trend with uh, a lot of things. You have to understand um, all the current trend that's ongoing as well as uh, a lot uh-huh. of things that you need to actually uh, keep in mind. Uh, mm. So to keep yourself updated with the latest uh, you know, things so that you can share with your customers as well as your students. Um, for you yourself, right? You set a goal mm. what you want to be in what industry you want to choose and after that you be consistent as long as you are interested to learn I'm willing to teach you and share with you mm. all the things that I have so most of the students are usually quite grateful to me whereby I share a lot of uh, information with them on like uh, where they can get their um, garments done or you know authored or as well as um, when uh, they need help with their drafting because they will be drafting other things after they graduated from the course itself. It helps to actually build the uh, industry in fashion itself because uh, to me now would be important thing would be to spread my knowledge to uh, people who want to learn. Mm. Also, all these skills can go with me to the coffin itself. It will be waste so might as well just teach. My own way of uh, uh, distressing is very different. Uh, mm. 
because I usually don't share a lot of things with my family or friends. So mm. sometimes my friends say, hey, Brent, why you never share all this? Uh, I'll be very quiet because the thing is whereby I need time to think as mm. well as I need, I need time to, uh, you know, sift through a lot of uh, things to see uh, which are my priorities and which are not. Mm. So uh, when I'm feeling really very stressful, uh, I'll usually just uh, either I go for my run like mm-hmm. uh, COVID time for not run not. what I'll do is uh, I'll just dump everything I'll not touch any work at all mm-hmm. yeah then I'll just watch TV those shows that will make you happy yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah then I'll go and just read on things uh, so this period, of, uh, this period of time I do read on a lot of uh, you know uh, quotes as well as uh, self-help uh, so-called uh, quotes as well because uh, which I think is very important uh, is mm-hmm. You have to be uh, self-motivated. To me, uh, it's all in your mind. Because when only when you think it's possible, then it will be possible. If you think it's impossible, then you are doing then All the, the right. door is closed. All right. So that's why I always mm-hmm. tell my friends is that when you believe in miracle, yeah, miracle do happen, you see. When you think positively, uh, things around you will start to change. Uh, everything will start to be uh, positive as well. You are young, uh, you basically have the whole world to run. So I always encourage my uh, younger students to mm. uh, take this time when you are still young, when mm. uh, your creative juice is like uh, and less less. Yeah, just uh, you know, uh, go for it. So that's the thing whereby when we are young and we got no commitment, uh, take this time to really explore, and uh, I would say that you won't regret when you get older because the thing is uh, these are things that I have uh, done or, uh, or accomplished yeah mm. oh, and the other thing would be uh, I would say passion itself is also uh, very important for things that you want to do because without the passion uh, it's very hard for you to push on uh, in the long journey of uh, adulthood because uh, there's no point in doing things you are just following the flow Okay, thank you so much, Alan. Last message. As long as well as uh, stay healthy. Uh, we really don't know uh, what's going to uh, happen next. Uh, take this time to really uh, upgrade your skills. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is what I've been telling to all my uh, friends as well as uh, colleagues as well because uh, mm. it will really eat you in the long journey itself. Uh, oh. Thank you so much, Alan, for the time, for sharing okay. your journey with us and all the message that you share to the youngster. Yeah, thanks to you too. If not, I won't be able to share all my uh, knowledge as well. Yeah, on my passions or uh, refreshing, yeah.